Oh, this is a late night review for me, man. It's 12 at night, but I gotta get this one out, boys. This is Mindbender, the shotgun that we saw in the trailer so many times. It looks beautiful. What's a really cool aspect to the gun is the runes on the side will actually light up when you get a kill with the gun. Now, I don't think there's any hidden stats tied into that outside of the perks and stats that roll with this weapon. Now, this weapon is obtainable from the Nightfall this week. It's the new Nightfall. I'm pretty sure it's called Hollow Layer, but somebody correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. But we're going to talk about a number of things with this shotgun. Number one, we're going to talk about the roles that I would say is the roles you should go after if you're going to grind out this Nightfall. Number two, is grinding for this shotgun even worth it for PvP and for PvE players? Because at the end of the day, if the shotgun is not even worth going after, what's the point of even discussing God rolls for it, right? So first up, let me mention what I'm using in today's video. We are using Bottom Tree Void Walker. Uh, we're blinking. Yeah, Blink Shoddy is still a thing. Actually, it's more of a thing now than ever before since Blink is much better than what it was where your radar actually returns much sooner. I very much like it. I'm also rocking Transverse of Steps, which are exotic boots to the Warlock class. This allows me to move faster, but not only that, as I'm sprinting, my weapon that I'm holding will reload itself. It really works well though with Blink because you essentially just blink once and your weapon is now reloaded for the most part. So just letting you know what's going on in today's video, guys. Let's talk about is this shotgun even worth going after? It is an aggressive frame shotty, which actually got a bit of a rework. Now, like before, it's a hard hitting, high recoil shotgun, but it increases the rate of fire after a kill. And it is noticeable, boys. Once you get a kill, that rate of fire bumps up a lot. I don't have the exact numbers, but it is extremely nice. Now the perk sets you see here today, guys, is full choke, slide shot, which slide shot means when you slide over an ammo brick, it immediately picks it up, reloads it, and gives you a slight buff to range, and rampage. Now the masterwork is not that great there, it's for stability, which I would not advocate for. Maybe if this was like a super fast fire rate, maybe I would say stability if you were going in PvE, but if you're gonna masterwork your shotgun for, for crucible, Always go for range. Always. Now, before we dive into God rolls for this weapon and potential rolls that you should be seeking, is this shotgun even worth going after? Based on the performance that I saw from the day, it is one of the best feeling aggressive frame shotguns I have played with. It felt phenomenal. It handled much better than any aggressive frame shotty I've played with. Even better than Balligan. And Balligan's got snapshot. I mean, the handling should be pretty good on it. But no lie, guys, this shotgun handles itself very well. Now we went in there and we actually tested out kill ranges. Again, this is for this roll, and I was easily getting kills from eight meters. So I mean, this shotgun is right up there with the rest of them. Balligan pretty much gets kills easily from nine meters, and that's got a pretty good roll on it. So now that you know I would choose this shotgun pretty much over any other shotgun right now, because that's how much it impressed me today. Let's talk about the god rolls I would try to seek out. Now first up, let's look at these barrel perks. Really, I think it's very simple when it comes to crucible and barrel perks. Rifle barrel or full choke, one or the other. I think I mean, those are the two best barrel perks there and when magazine perks when we talk about them that's a very simple one too boys accurized rounds all day long now for pve you can pick a number of these different magazine perks and do just fine with it so let's talk about these traits so the first one here on the left is opening shot underneath it is slide shot which is present on the shotgun you see in today's clips underneath that is threat detector snapshot sights and pulse monitor now next to opening shot is rampage quick draw moving target and auto loading holster now these are the traits and as you can see some of these traits can synergize pretty good with each other like i would love to synergize something like snapshot with moving target being able to aim instantly down sights you'll be able to take advantage of moving target immediately and grant yourself that extra target acquisition and movement speed while aiming but then we look at other things like if you're going to play purely defensive as in you're going to be working with your primary shooting with the pulse rifle a scout rifle and you need a shotgun purely to be used defensively when someone rushes you well then quick draw would be the perk you need absolutely and if you want to give yourself a little bit of love when you do swap to your shotgun opening shot with quick draw would be nasty so overall here guys there's a lot of synergy between these traits if I had to be a chooser, it would be either snapshot and move and target together or quick draw and opening shot. Now, here's the thing about that. The reason why I pick opening shot over slot shot is because I do play the new striker class a bunch. And so by default, the subclass allows me to slide over ammo and reload it on its own. I don't need to perk on my gun to do that. But if I do rock hammers, then slide shot all day long would be the perk I would use over opening shot. The rest of the perks here, not necessarily terrible, 
but again, up to you. Rampage is definitely something I would use in PvE, but when it comes to PvE shotguns, that's a tough one. Because at the end of the day, if I'm going to choose a PvE shotgun, I'll just choose Ikelos. It's just an all-around better shotgun. I did play with this in PvE, and it was okay, but it's not Ikelos. So guys, that's my thoughts on gun rolls and what you should be going for this week if you're going to grind for this gun. It's a phenomenal PvP shotgun, guys. It maps. It's got good target acquisition. It handles itself well. Anytime I can come in and out of blinks and land shotgun shots, I'm impressed, boys. Especially given the fact it is an aggressive frame shotgun. So, fellas, I highly suggest getting your hands on it. Well, guys, that is my review from Mindbender's Ambition. Again, thank you, Ron, for letting me get on your accounts. Hopefully, he'll pass on some of that RNG to us. Guys, thank you so much for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Oh,